Hey, it's me. How's it going? Well, today I was thinking about my life, you know, and all that stuff. Thinking about life. And I was thinking that when I was younger, I worked at five different TV stations. Not all at the same time, but over the course of years. And what that did for me was it helped me understand some things about life, like uh, the fact that people are always struggling with things, some amazing and weird things, things that you don't even know about until that day comes when you find out about it. And you're like, holy smokes. Okay, I'll give you an example. At one station, I went to work one day. I was walking down the hall. Guy runs into me and he says, hey, Peter, I need to book a shoot with you right now. I need to book a shoot with you right now. Are you free? I said, no, I'm actually, uh, I'm already, I booked a shoot already with the uh, cameraman that I usually work with. So then he, he, he practically took me by the arm and he wanted to go into this room and talk. He went through a door, he sat down at the table, he looks at me and he said, you know the weather lady, right? I said, yeah, I know. Well, I don't know her, but I know who she is, right? Sure. He said, uh, well, after work, I've been uh, going to her place. And, uh, you know, I said, oh, you've been uh, moving her furniture for her? Been moving her furniture around, eh? He said, oh, yeah, you could say that. But she has a sexually transmitted disease. She went to the clinic and she had to tell a doctor or a nurse or somebody at the clinic the name of every guy that she slept with. And they're going to send a letter to my house this afternoon. And it's going to tell me that I need to come to the clinic and get tested because I was sleeping with somebody. And I got to get home and I got to get that letter before my wife gets home. And she gets out of work before I do. So I got to book a shoot with you, even if we don't shoot anything. So I can go home and get that letter. I got to go get that letter. My whole life is falling apart right now. I said, oh, okay, well, I got to go check something. <laughs> so I, I leave and I go back into the hallway and there's the guy that I have a shoot booked with. And he's like, are you ready to go? And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm ready to go. So we got into the elevator. We went down to the uh, parkade where all the company vehicles are. My phone rings. And somebody's voice comes on the phone and says, Is this Peter? I said, Yeah, this is him. Who's this? And the guy said, It's me. I was like, It's me? Who the heck is me? Somebody wants something, but they don't want to tell me who they are. He said, well, Peter, I was just wondering if maybe you were free this afternoon. How would you like to uh, be in a promo? It's kind of a last minute production. And I thought, oh boy, there's another guy out there. He's, he, I said, well, are you uh, gonna film this at your place right near the mailbox where you're waiting for your wife to get home maybe? About half a word came out of his mouth, and then he hung up. So I went out, you know. I went out and did my shoot. It was funny. It was good. I liked it. It was done. It's like usual. Never heard a word about this situation again. But those guys, they were sweating bullets. <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, you know, hey, I keep my life simple. You know, I go home. I read a book. I got my cat. I'm happy. Happier than these guys are. Even with their wives and the woman who does the uh, weather, I'm still happier than they are. It's amazing, eh? I'm a simple guy. Works that way, you know? But at another station, there was another situation. This one really told me how much people struggle. Okay? This is a long time ago. You'll never figure out where or when or who. doesn't matter. That's not what matters. What matters is what I'm about to tell you, okay? So I'm walking past the manager's office, and he's got the door open. He says, can I uh, speak to you for a second, Peter? I have a serious question for you. 
I said, oh yeah, sure. He said, but there's a, there's a situation at work. There's a situation with somebody. Whenever we have a meeting, he always leaves the meeting and then he vanishes. He goes into the washroom and he smooths, he, he smooths, pardon me. He goes into the washroom and he smears poo everywhere. Then he goes back to his desk and he opens a drawer. He has cleaning supplies in there, paper towel, Windex, everything. He goes back in there and he cleans the whole washroom. I don't like how much time this is taking. But he's one of the best salespeople in all of Western Canada, you know that? Can't afford to lose him. He makes a lot of commercial money for the station. We need him. But I don't like this situation. And I don't know what to say. And I, 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 uh, nobody else can find out about this. If they do, they're going to freak. People are going to freak right out. So I was just wondering what you might say about this. And I was thinking, well, he, he thinks I'm kind of a far out character myself. So it's kind of lumped me in with everybody else that's weird as if I have, uh, you know, some kind of personal insight into other people's weirdness. Which, okay, fair enough. <laughs> so I said to him, well, I, I don't think he's a bad guy. He's a middle-aged guy. He's very nice, very good person. And uh, I don't think this makes him a bad person. I think something bad happened to him. He must be hurting a lot inside. He can't be happy if he's doing this. Don't don't humiliate the guy or shame him or anything like that. Because I think that's probably uh, he's probably going through a lot of that if he's doing this. So what I would suggest is you tell him if you have to use the washroom, use the washroom past the candy machine right near the dartboard because nobody uses that washroom. And remind him, you've got benefits. You've got good company benefits. So if you need help, use them. Be supportive of this guy. I don't know what he's going through, but it's got to be painful. Okay? And just remember this. You don't have to know why people do things. Just know that they have reasons why they're doing things like this. I don't know what the reason is, but there is a reason, okay? So just keep that in mind. And he said, well, Peter, that's pretty good. Yes, thank you. I, uh, that's what I'll tell him. I told him we're going to talk about this, so I have to tell him something. I said, well, that's pretty good. Just go with that then. And don't forget... People are going through intense, weird stuff, and you don't know about it until you do find out about it. <laughs> it's intense, man. Okay, goodbye. See you later.